Hello and welcome on the Watches TV. Today marks the day of our new season of our watchmaking road trip adventure that we call Watch Tripping. Let's go watch tripping together indeed. And uh, during this adventure we had five great guys coming from different parts of the world. You'll soon meet them. And uh, with these guys uh, we obviously had to go to the Patek Philippe Museum. It's just setting the ground of this uh, adventure. This is a must for any watch aficionado coming to Geneva. But then we visited Vacheron Constantin for a full and extensive visit. Uh, uh, we went to Agenor, met the Wiederich family over there that shared their views on what they're doing. We also went to the Geneva Watchmaking School for a special type of experience. But then uh, took our bus uh, and went to the Valley de Joux to uh, visit uh, uh, Gégère Le Coultre. Went further up the mountains uh, to visit uh, Ulysse Nardin and Girard Perrigo. And I've always said that uh, in the Watches TV, uh, with our video reports, I wanted to make them as inclusive as possible and I want everyone to understand what watchmaking is all about. So on my side, I always said that uh, uh, my videos have to be kind of mama proof uh, and this is going to be just another fine example of this. So let's go and meet the five guys uh, that join us for this adventure and they will just tell you in this uh, first episode kind of what were their thoughts and what they took out of this experience before diving in each uh, and single visit together. I think that you need to come and see to understand why it costs so much, how much investment they put on the machines, how much of handwork they put to create that is, is like a lot. You know, that's what this trip has really been about, is, is making Swiss watchmaking real. Instead of having a chance just to um, view things uh, virtually uh, on the internet or online, there's real people who are really dedicated their lives to this craft. And one of the things that made me think about this was uh, Agenor. When you get to meet the family and how small and personalized it is, you know, we had lunch with watchmakers and dial setters and designers and engineers and it was, um, it was really meaningful and they have real stories to share and they're very proud of the work that they do. You know, you just don't see that in any other uh, professions other, other than maybe medicine. Uh, they had uh, truly were on a mission and were pushing themselves to go a little bit better. Uh, these are young people, a lot of energy in those rooms, um, the speed and the, the, the spring in their step from station to station. The lovely young woman at Vacheron showed open to me asking the same question over and over and not really getting it. But by and large, I was really impressed with their, yeah, as you say, their openness and their apparent uh, just desire to get through to us what they do. Because it's not apparent from looking at the finished product, what went into it. It, it takes a, yeah, it takes a, a bit to consider. It's hard to get the totality of it, for me anyway, until it was all in one place, like in the Valley du Jour. Or, any of these other places really. On videos online, searching, it's not clear the difference between the, like the hand finishing and then the machine finishing. And then coming to this trip, I was able to see that they both can work together. You can have like the machine finishing and the hand finishing in watches like the Pacheron and other things. And that the machine finishing is also really cool and could be like challenging and could be different, difficult. And it's not just like pressing a button and magic happens. There's like so much research and so much understanding to make one small piece, one small part, and all the things that involves like the engineers, the watchmakers, all working together to create something unique, something different. But it's not just like this, you know. You know a lot of people, other people who love watches, and you can talk three hours, four hours with them, and they're not tired about it, and then knowing some awesome people, I mean Swiss awesome people in the world and then who all love watches together, together, together. You know, you have to expect you're going to make friends on this trip, but I didn't really appreciate how uh, we all become uh, close in literally days. So you could do this on your own, but you would miss that part of it. I would say this is an opportunity of the lifetime to come here. Though it's like, despite like before I think, uh, it's expensive, but seriously, it's worth it. Definitely worth it. I mean, seriously, yeah. So stay tuned for the following episodes that will be brought to you very shortly. Enjoy and viva watchmaking. Yeah.